Hi friends, this is Colin Richards. I'm president and founder of Lord & Richards, and I'm delighted that you're joining me today on this episode of The Lord & Richards Show. And today we're gonna to be talking about strategies to combat inflation, particularly in retirement. Strategies to combat inflation. As we talked about in our previous segment, inflation is a present problem. It is one that, generally speaking, we want in moderation, but right now we're seeing spikes as high as 9% in the summer and more recently moderating a little bit to 7%. But we know the Fed, the Federal Reserve, is targeting something closer to 2% as part of a healthy ongoing growth in our economy, in the cost of goods, in increases in pay. The problem is when inflation spikes up like that, a lot of times businesses and other employers are not able to keep up with that cost of living and it places pressure on the American economy and it can begin to create tremendous disparity between what you spend and what you make. And so how are we gonna address that when we enter into the particularly vulnerable period we call retirement, when you can no longer simply change jobs to a higher paying job or get a great raise because of high performance, when you're living on things that are a little bit more fixed? Well, we know we can't control the increase in your Social Security income. Hopefully, Social Security will continue to be tied to the cost of goods and services out there and will rise when we see large spikes in inflation. But how about your pension? A lot of times those aren't increasing. They're level pensions. How about other sources of income, maybe from fixed investments? You might have money in CDs and so forth. Um, these can be a problem. Right. And so one of the one of the things we first of all want to do is take a look at can we take those fixed type investments and take advantage of the safety that they offer, which is important for retirees. We don't need to be gambling away your money and your livelihood. We need reasonable growth without gambling, reasonable growth without undue exposure to market risk. How are we going to get that? Well, the good news right now is interest rates are also up. You see, if inflation was up and interest rates were down, well, it'd be hard to find a safe place to go to get some growth. But right now, interest rates are high relative to past rates. So you can go out and get a money market that pays 3% or 4%. You can go out and buy CDs that pay 4 and 5%. We're just recently, they only paid one or two or money markets paid next to nothing. You say, well, how is that going to keep up in a market or pardon me, in an inflation environment that's up over 7% column? Well, the good news is, as I've said in a previous segment called savers are being rewarded, is that we can show you how to take that low guaranteed rate. It's a little better than it has been three or four or 5% and leverage that to try to turn it into more and get potentially returns much higher than inflation so that not only is your income, not only are your investments keeping pace with inflation, but hopefully exceeding inflation and growing and growing and enhancing your lifestyle through retirement. That's what our clients are looking for and doing right now. And this can happen in a variety of ways. You can invest in CDs, you can invest in other uh, principal protected tools that produce a guaranteed or low amount of guaranteed interest every year. And then we can show you how to get that leveraged, not your principal, just your interest to try to multiply those returns. So keeping your principal safe, and then each year that we earn a greater return, putting that back into your principal and keeping that safe as well. So that's strategy number one. There are opportunities as well in the stock market. Not only is inflation high, but interest rates are high and the stock market right now is a real value. I know it's hard to buy into a market that has seen recent declines. It's hard to time the market. So we don't, as someone has wisely said, it's not timing the market, it's time in the market. And when, if you were a car collector, would you go out and purchase a collector car when everybody's clamoring to get that exact car? Or would the best opportunity be when people are ignoring it and it's at a value. That's exactly how you should look at the market. The market is a market, just like if you went to the flea market or you went to the store and you're waiting for things to be on sale. So stocks are on sale. Fixed investments are on sale and doing better than they've ever done in a generation. And yes, taxes are on sale. So now is a great opportunity 
to take advantage of the low market to lock in some lower tax rates. We call it tax loss harvesting. So take stocks that have been beaten down and, and have actually lost money, lock in the loss and put it against your taxes and save money there. Of course, you can eventually repurchase those same investments or place them elsewhere. The point isn't to actually leave the market. The point is to judiciously time when you're going to exit to maximize the loss in that particular stock. You say, well, Colin, that's the opposite of what I've been told. I've been told don't lock in your losses. Well, from a tax perspective, there's a lot of good that can come from it and you can always re-enter the market. And so then, of course, looking at your basic foundational needs as a retiree or future retiree, you've got to get a written plan in place, right? Not only to combat inflation, but also to combat taxes, the rising cost of health care, market declines and how you're going to address risk as, as well as growth, and then finally income. And of course, we're talking to people about making sure making sure you have your estate plan in place. These are the critical factors to being financially independent and staying that way, whether markets rise or fall, whether inflation rises or falls, whether interest rates rises or falls, all of these things can be addressed in a comprehensive written plan. And we address that in a process at Lord & Richards we call a financial independence review. You can sit down, have an amazing conversation with a gifted, caring professional, and then we'll show you how to be retirement, how to be financially independent for the rest of your life. It just starts with a simple phone call, a cup of coffee, and some cookies. I'd be delighted to chat with you.